What's going on guys? I just got my cool new uh, 12 volt compressor fridge and uh, today I'm going to build a little slider rail for it so you can move it around. So this is the fridge I'm going to be basing everything off of. It's a little Edge Star. Um, the model is the FP430, but it's going to pretty much be the same for any of these 12 volt top open fridges or I mean you could even you could make it cooler uh, I have some two inch uh, aluminum angle that I got I just picked this up from Home Depot and then I have a set of these little drawer sliders and that is pretty much gonna be the base of this build step number one you want to just take some fridge or freezer or cooler or whatever you got and just measure out the base of it so I'm going to make my, my rails 24 inches long. Next step, you're going to want to measure out to where you're going to make your cut. I'm going to cut mine at roughly two feet right here. We got one down, uh, three to go. Now that we have all four of our pieces cut, we're gonna pick one of them. They're all the same size. And we are gonna mount our rail slider on the inside of it. So basically we can have this sort of action going on. Our piece of angle and take our little desk slider make sure it's flush with this top edge kind of like that all the way back and we're just gonna slide it out so we can gain access to these little holes in here and we're just gonna mark all these holes right here right here here. So we got these five little holes that we need to make. So let's go do that. Look through all those, you can see our little holes lining up in there underneath. I'm just gonna test fit it, test fit it together, make sure everything lines up where it's supposed to. So we got some bolts in there. I used some little uh, Allen head cap screws. Keep everything nice and flush. Um, and then basically this will, this part right here, will just bolt down to the floor, and then. This piece bolt to another piece of uh, aluminum angle, and then this will mount on this little sliding mechanism. Just bolt your fridge or your cooler or whatever to to this surface right here. So it's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm not sure how well it's going to work out yet. So now that we know it fits, I took it back apart, and we can just take another piece of angle that we cut put it up like this make sure it's all nice and square all the way across and then we can take our sharpie just go ahead and transfer those holes and now our holes in the second one are perfectly laid out right where we need them. So now our holes are all nicely lined up. So I got these two slider rails. I'll bolt it up, everything nice and tight. Now, the question is, do I want to mount it like 
like this, or like this, or like this. I'm kind of thinking this way, so that way a lot of the weight's still kind of centered over this little drawer. I'm not sure how much this thing's actually rated for, this little drawer slider. So I think I'm going to mount it like this. Two of these all mounted up. Basically, just sits like this. Slides right out. So now we're gonna set the fridge on there and see if they actually work under weight. Alright, here's the finished product. Uh, I mean, it's not totally finished, I still need to wire it and do all that stuff, but as far as mounting, it's finished. There's our nice little fridge. Tuck back here, you just grab this little handle, slide it out, open it up, get whatever you want out of it, close it up, and just right back into the corner. So, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Um, it's Relatively simple to build, you just need some tools and uh, some time. I did it in, well, I did it in, in two days, technically. You can tell by the chain shirt, but anyways, we still have a whole lot more work to do in here. So you can tell we got a wiring mess, we got nothing going on back here, no bed, no nothing. Oh, I hope you guys like this quick little uh, DIY. There's still plenty of left to do to this thing. So if you enjoyed this video, follow along and you can see me build it up even more.